Всем привет. Hello everyone. Modern multimeters combine many useful functions. In addition to the standard measurement of voltage and resistance, as well as, for example, checking diodes, they can be used to measure temperature. The minimum and maximum values can be measured. In some models, you can enable the oscilloscope function. Today I want to show you another wonderful multimeter. This is a multimeter from the company Tooltop. It also has many functions. And a distinctive feature of this multimeter is a thermal imager, that is, an infrared camera. What other features this multimeter has, and what is the thermal imager that is built in here, I will tell you in this video. First of all, I want to tell you some good news. Now this multifunctional multimeter with a thermal imager function is being sold at a significant discount. In addition, by clicking on the link that will be in the description under this video, you can get a coupon from the seller for an additional discount when buying this multimeter. This multimeter comes in a regular cardboard box. And here is the whole package of this device. User manual in Chinese and English. Let's look at the main characteristics of the multimeter. Measurement of constant voltage up to 1000 volts, alternating voltage up to 750 volts, resistance measurement up to 40 megaohms, capacity up to 100 microfarads, a 2.8 inch resistive touch screen with a resolution of 320 by 480 pixels, type C connector for connecting to a computer and for charging, lithium ion battery. The wire is very soft and obviously silicone. The measurement limit of these probes is up to 1000 volts and up to 10 amperes. And here is the multimeter itself. The multimeter has a small size and is very convenient to hold in your hand. On the back cover it is indicated that a lithium-ion battery with a capacity of 850 mAh is used here. To turn on the multimeter, press and hold the first button. By default, the infrared camera, that is, the thermal imager, is immediately turned on. As you can see, the multimeter shows the hottest and coldest area on the screen. We will return to the thermal imager later, and now we will check the other measurement modes of this multimeter. The first measurement mode is constant voltage. 1.6 volt battery. It is worth noting the rapid operation of the device without any delays. Then measurement of alternating voltage. There are 237 volts in the electrical network. Also, in the AC voltage measurement mode, you can press this button to measure the frequency. The frequency is exactly 50 Hz. The next measurement mode is resistance. For example, I will measure the resistance with a nominal value of 680 ohms. And the device shows 676 ohms. Next, check the diodes. Then check the circuit and beep. And another measurement mode is capacity measurement. 100 microfarad capacitor.
After some thought, the device shows 93 microfarads and another capacitor for 1 microfarad. The device shows approximately 900 nanofarads. Also, this multimeter can build and save graphs with the input signal level. To do this, for example, in the AC voltage measurement mode, you need to click this tab. Using the hold button, you can record the measurement results on the screen. The multimeter also has many settings. To go to the settings, you need to click this tab. The first item is system settings. You can choose which will initially turn on when the multimeter is started, a thermal imager or multimeter, then turn off the screen. In this case, 10 minutes are selected, and the choice of language, Chinese or English. The next item is to adjust the brightness of the screen and turn on the sound. The next item is setting up the thermal imager, temperature display in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, as well as sensitivity adjustment. Setting up the multimeter, that is, the purpose of the buttons and their location. The next item, or rather even the folder in which the saved photos from the thermal imager will be located. USB connection settings. And the last point is the information about the device and the firmware version. Now let's go back to the thermal imager. I found an old power supply that warms up under load. Let's see what this multimeter will show. And you can immediately see that the power transistor is warming up. So, in just 5 seconds, you can narrow down the location of the fault. And with this button, you can take a screenshot. A multimeter from the company Tooltop with the function of a thermal imager is a wonderful device that will be very useful when repairing electronics, as well as, for example, when troubleshooting the electrical wiring of a car or apartment. This concludes this video. If you liked it then click the subscribe button so as not to miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon. I thank you for watching and see you soon.